The Uruguay national football team represents Uruguay in international association football and is controlled by the Uruguayan Football Association, the governing body for football in Uruguay. The current head coach is Oscar Tabares. The Uruguayan team is commonly referred to as La Celeste the Sky Blue. They have won the Copa America 15 times, the most successful national team in the tournament, the most recent title being the 2011 edition. The team has won the FIFA World Cup twice, including the first World Cup in 1930 as hosts, defeating Argentina 4–2 in the final. They won their second title in 1950, upsetting host Brazil 2–1 in the final match, which received an attendance higher than any football match ever. They have won the gold medals in football at the Summer Olympics twice, in 1924 and 1928 recognized by FIFA as World Championships, before the creation of the World Cup. Uruguay also won the 1980 Mundialito, a tournament among former World Cup champions. In total, Uruguay have won 20 official titles, a world record for the most international titles held by any country. Their success is amplified by the fact that the nation has a very small population of around 3.4 million inhabitants 2011 est. Uruguay is by far the smallest country in the world to have won a World Cup in terms of population, 1.75 million inhabitants in 1930. The second smallest country, by population, to have won the World Cup is Argentina with a population of nearly 28 million people in 1978. Uruguay is also the smallest country ever to win any World Cup medals. Only six FIFA member nations with a currently smaller population than Uruguay's have ever qualified to any World Cup Northern Ireland, three times, Slovenia, twice, Wales, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, and Iceland. History In 1901, Uruguay played against Argentina in their first ever match, a close contest won by Argentina 3–2. Prior to 1916, Uruguay played more than 30 matches, of which all but one were against Argentina. The inaugural Copa America provided Uruguay with more varied opposition. Victories over Chile and Brazil, along with a tie against Argentina, enabled Uruguay to win the tournament. The following year Uruguay hosted the competition, and retained the title by winning every game. The 1919 Copa America saw Uruguay's first defeat in the tournament, a 1–0 defeat in a playoff with Brazil which went to two periods of extra time, the longest Copa America match in history. In 1924, the Uruguay team travelled to Paris to become the first South American team to compete in the Olympic Games. In contrast to the physical style of the European teams of the era, Uruguay played a style based around short passes, and won every game, defeating Switzerland 3–0 in the gold medal match. In the 1928 Summer Olympics, Uruguay went to Amsterdam to defend their title, again winning the gold medal after defeating Argentina 2–1 in the replay of the final the first match was a draw after extra time. FIFA assumed the responsibility of the organization of the football games to be played by FIFA rules and the tournaments would be recognized as world championships. It only happened twice 1924-1928 Summer Olympic Games until the creation of its own FIFA World Championship, the FIFA World Cup, in 1930. Following the double Olympic triumph, Uruguay was chosen as the host nation for the first World Cup, held in 1930, the centenary of Uruguay's first constitution. During the World Cup, Uruguay won all its matches, and converted a 1–2 half-time deficit to a 4–2 victory against Argentina at the Estadio Centenario. Due to the refusal of some European teams to participate in the first World Cup, the Uruguayan Football Association urged other countries to reciprocate by boycotting the 1934 World Cup played in Italy. For the 1938 World Cup, France was chosen as host, contrary to a previous agreement to alternate the championships between South America and Europe, so Uruguay again refused to participate. Uruguay again won the World Cup in 1950, beating hosts Brazil in one of the biggest upsets in World Cup history. The decisive match was at the Maracana Stadium in Brazil. Uruguay came from behind to beat the host nation in a match which would become known as the Maracanazo. Many Brazilians had to be treated for shock after the event, such was the surprise of Uruguay's victory. After their fourth place finish in the 1954 World Cup, the team had mixed performances and after the fourth place finish in 1970, their dominance, quality and performance dropped. 
They were no longer a world football power and failed to qualify for the World Cup on five occasions in the last nine competitions. They reached an all-time low and at one time ranked 76th in the FIFA World Rankings. In 2010, however, a new generation of footballers, led by Luis Suarez, Diego Forlan and Edinson Cavani, formed a team considered to be Uruguay's best in the last four decades, catching international attention after finishing fourth in the 2010 World Cup. Uruguay opened the tournament with a goalless draw against France, followed by defeats of South Africa in and Mexico respectively, finishing at the top of their group with seven points. In the second round, they played South Korea, defeating them 2–1 with star striker Luis Suarez scoring a brace and earning Uruguay a spot in the quarter-finals for the first time since 1970. Against Ghana, the match finished 1–1, forcing the game into extra time. Both sides had their chances at extra time but Suarez blocked the ball with his hand in the penalty area, earning Suarez a red card and earning Uruguay universal scorn. Ghana striker Asamoa Gyan missed the subsequent penalty, forcing the game to go into penalties where Uruguay would win 4–2, sending them into the last four. They played the Netherlands in the semi-finals but were beaten 3–2. For the third place match, they played Germany, again losing 3–2. This placed Uruguay in fourth place for the tournament, their best result in 40 years. Diego Forlan was awarded the player of the tournament. A year later, they won the Copa America for the first time in 16 years and broke the record for the most successful team in South America. Luis Suarez ended up as the player of the tournament. In the 2014 World Cup Uruguay was placed in Group D alongside Costa Rica, England, and Italy. They were upset by Costa Rica in the opening match, losing 3–1 despite taking the lead in the first half. They rebounded with a 2–1 victory over England, in which Suarez scored a brace right after coming back from an injury, and a 1–0 victory over Italy, placing them second in their group and earning a spot in the last 16. During the match against Italy, forward Luis Suarez bit Italian defender Giorgio Chiellini on his left shoulder. Two days after the match, the FIFA Disciplinary Committee banned Suarez for nine international matches, the longest such ban in World Cup history, exceeding the eight-match ban handed to Italy's Mauro Tassotti for breaking the nose of Spain's Luis Enrique in 1994. Suarez was also banned from taking part in any football-related activity including entering any stadium for four months and fined 100,000 Swiss francs approximately, £65,700 per €82,000 per $119,000. In the round of 16, Uruguay played Colombia but were beaten 2–0, eliminating them from the tournament. At the 2015 and 2016 Copa America, Uruguay, missing band striker Luis Suarez, were eliminated in the quarter-finals and group stages respectively. After a successful qualification on Conmebol, finishing second, Uruguay made it to the World Cup in Russia. Uruguay won its group after three victories and advanced to the quarter-finals after a victory over Portugal. Being eliminated by future champions France. Stadium Since 1930, Uruguay have played their home games at the Estadio Centenario in the Uruguayan capital Montevideo. The stadium was built as a celebration of the centenary of Uruguay's first constitution, and had a capacity of 90,000 when first fully opened. The stadium hosted several matches in the 1930 World Cup, including the final, which was watched by a crowd of 93,000. Crowds for Uruguay's home matches vary greatly depending on the importance of the match and the quality of the opposition. World Cup qualifying matches often attract crowds of between 50,000 and 73,000. Uruguay's Stadium Estadio Centenario is one of the biggest stadiums in the world over 100 metres wide and 100 metres long. Kits. Between 1901 and 1910, Uruguay wore a variety of different shirts during matches, including solid green and white tops, and even a shirt modeled from the flag of Artigas. On 10 April 1910, now defunct River Plate FC defeated Argentine team alumni by 2–1, being the first time an Uruguayan team beat legendary alumni. That day River Plate wore its alternate jersey, a light blue one due to the home jersey was similar to alumni's. 
Ricardo Lebas proposed Uruguay to wear a light blue jersey as a tribute to the victory of River Plate over alumni. This was approved by President of the Uruguayan Association, Hector Gomez. The red jersey that was used in some previous away strips was first used at the 1935 Copa America, held in Santa Beatriz in Peru, which Uruguay won. It was not worn again except for a 1962 FIFA World Cup match against Colombia until 1991 when it was officially adopted as the away jersey. Four stars appear above the team logo on the jersey. Two represent Uruguay's 1930 and 1950 World Cup victories and the other two represent the gold medals received at the 1924 and 1928 Summer Olympics and recognized by FIFA as world championships. A Albion FC kit B. Diverse uniforms worn until 1910 when the light blue color was definitely adopted. C. Based in the flag of Artigas. D. Introduced as the away jersey due to the 1935 South American Championship final game versus Argentina. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Kit sponsorship. Topic: Recent results and fixtures. Topic: 2017. Topic: 2018. Topic: Coaching staff. Topic Players Topic Current Squad The following twenty one players were named in the squad for the friendly matches against Brazil on the sixteenth of November and France on the twentieth of November twenty eighteen, caps and goals correct as of the twentieth of November twenty eighteen, subsequent to the match against France. Topic: Recent call-ups. The following players have also been called up to the Uruguay squad in the past 12 months. Topic: Competitive record. Topic: FIFA World Cup. Champions runners up third place fourth place Topic <inaudible> FIFA World Cup Interconfederations qualification games Asterisk denotes draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks Darker color indicates win normal color indicates lost Asterisk asterisk red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil Asterisk 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 Uruguay, Chile, Bolivia and Paraguay qualified automatically after the withdrawal of Argentina, Ecuador and Peru by default. Topic: <laughs> FIFA Confederations Cup. Champions runners up third place fourth place. Topic: <laughs> South American Championship. Champions runners up third place fourth place Topic Copa America Champions runners up third place fourth place Topic Olympics record Gold silver bronze Topic Pan American Games Topic Honors Note the list above is for senior and Olympic teams FIFA World Cup Champions nineteen thirty, nineteen fifty 
Fourth place, 1954, 1970, 2010. FIFA Confederations Cup. Fourth place, 1997, 2013. South American Championship, Copa America. Champions 15, 1916, 1917, 1920, 1923, 1924, 1926, 1935, 1942, 1956, 1959, 1967, 1983, 1987, 1995, 2011 Runners up 1919, 1927, 1939, 1941, 1989, 1999 Third place, 1921, 1922, 1929, 1939, 1941, 1947, 1953, 1957, 2004 Fourth place, 1989, 2001, 2007 Summer Olympics Gold medal, 1924, 1928 Friendlies Played consecutively with Taka du Atlantica in 1976. FIFA World Cup matches Official matches Below is a list of all matches Uruguay have played against FIFA recognized teams updated as of the 7th of September 2018. Topic: Records. As of the 16th of November 2018. Topic: World Cup winning captains. Topic: Most participations in the World Cups. Topic: Most goals scored in the World Cups. Topic: Most games played in the World Cups. Topic Previous squads Topic Management Competitive matches only as of the fourteenth of June twenty sixteen. Topic Emblem Uruguay have four stars in the emblem, two stars from the gold medals earned in the 1924 and 1928 Olympic Games recognized by FIFA as World Championships in accordance with the IOC and two stars from the two World Cups from 1930 and 1950. Rivalries <inaudible> 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 Argentina Uruguay has a long-standing rivalry with Argentina, that came into existence when they beat their South American neighbors 4–2 in the first World Cup final, held in Montevideo in 1930. As a response, the following day saw an angry mob threw stones at the Uruguayan consulate in the Argentinian capital Buenos Aires. Brazil Uruguay has an old rivalry with their South American neighbors. Their best known match was played at the 1950 World Cup which was held in Brazil where they defeated the host with the result 2–1 in front of almost 200,000 spectators at the Maracana Stadium, thus winning the competition and earning their second World Cup title. <laughs> Notes